Hey everybody, welcome back. Now remember, it's value back to yesterday. We learned about the water cycle, right? We learned about there is water collections, right? That's when the water's in the puddles on the floor and it evaporates into the air, right? It's this imaginary steam. We really can't see it. Not imaginary. It's invisible steam. It's real, but we just can't see it. And it goes into the clouds, right? And condensation. And then it comes down as precipitation, okay? Or rain or snow, okay? Now, you guys made your little baggies, right? Now, when I brought this down from the window, it was, uh, had some steam in the window, right? Some um, condensation on it. So it looks like it was kind of fuzzy up here. The water evaporated a little bit, right? You could see it. It must be like a little tiny cloud inside your bag, right? When you pick it up, it gets cool again. It goes back into the collection. So today we're going to focus on the evaporation stuff, okay? Now, to do that, you are going to get a piece of construction paper. I did not have construction paper in my house. So I'm taking an old Chipotle bag, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it into three pieces the size of my hand. Now mine's gonna be bigger than yours because my hand is bigger than yours, right? So I'm just gonna cut this apart a little wrinkly, but it's what I have. And that's what we're doing. If you have something, you can use it. If you don't, it's okay. Okay, but I'm using a piece of paper bag, so I'm going to cut this into three pieces the size of my hand. Notice my scissors are always flexing away from me. So, here we have one piece. We have two pieces. our third piece. Now, the little wrinkle, the little bits. Okay, so I have one, two, three pieces. Okay, now what I'm going to do with each piece, I'm going to take a little bit of water. Okay, you want to do this by the sink, it's probably easier. I don't have a sink down here, and I'm not moving my feet by the sink because it probably fall in, and then um, I get electrocuted, and whatever. Okay, so what you can do is pour some water in your hand, make sure your hand's all wet, and take your water and you're going to Put it on the bag so it gets weird. It's easier with, it turns out easier with uh, construction paper. So it's going to be wet, okay? So make some handprints on your bag. So you have three handprints on three bags. So one, two, three, okay? One of the handprints you're going to put in a dark spot, okay? So you can put it in the closet, you can put it under your bed, somewhere the water's not going to affect it. I'm going to put it right underneath my table right here because it's kind of dark. The other paper, two papers you bring outside with you or put by a window, okay? Now, one of these papers you're going to put inside of a Ziploc bag, okay? If you need this bag, you can empty it out, dry it off, and use that. Or if you have another bag, you should take that. You can reuse it when you're done. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put this in baggie. And you put these outside or by the window in the sun where it's getting it nice and warm, okay? Now, you're going to see what happens to the water. Now, this one is out on its own, and this one's going to be in the bag. Put them both right next to each other in the sun. You might want to anchor it down with rocks, okay? And then wait a little while to see. It should take about 20 minutes, half hour outside if it's really sunny, or if it's by wind, it may take a little bit longer, okay? So you're going to do that, and you learn all about evaporation. When you're done with that, take a break. When you come back, I want you guys to watch a rainbow fish video, okay? It's a really good story about a rainbow fish and it's about sharing and stuff like that, which I know is kind of hard when you're home alone with your brothers and sisters all day, every day. So you're gonna watch that. When you're done, if you would like, if you have time, you may draw a picture of the rainbow fish and you can also cut out a least piece of foil and glue it on to make your own rainbow fish. Uh, please take pictures of you guys doing this work, upload one or two, it'd be really great, okay? Make sure you checked in today so you can answer for attendance. I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a really great day, okay? Now again, we're learning about, today we learned about evaporation. You're going to see when the steam comes up in here, right, you'll see the evaporation turning into steam on the top of the page. This one should magically disappear because all the water went right into the air and cause evaporation, right? They say evaporation with me. E, vap, or ation, evaporation. And it's part of the water cycle. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.